Welcome to the session on creating your elevator pitch, why and what. I am Sahana Murthy, a faculty member in the interdisciplinary program in educational technology at IIT Bombay. Before we begin, let us see if this module is relevant for you. If you happen to teach or plan to teach a technical communication course in your college or if you have found that you have to talk about your research, maybe at a conference or if you are in a situation where you have to mentor students for their careers, for example, you have to help them prepare for their job interviews, then this session is relevant for you. Let us look at one scenario. Consider that your student is appearing for a job interview. A typical question that the interviewer asks the student is tell me about yourself and the student has exactly one minute to make a good impression. So, what would you advise your student to say in this situation? If you want, you can pause the video here and note down a few points that you would advise your student to say. We will come back to this scenario a little later. A similar scenario, but under a different context is when you are attending a research conference and suppose you meet a senior faculty member in your field from another college. The senior faculty member asks you, so what are you working on essentially about your research? Again, you have exactly a minute to give a coherent response before perhaps somebody else grabs the senior colleague's attention. So what would you say in this situation? If you have found yourself in this situation or if you think you are going to go to a conference, again this would be a good time to pause the video and think a little bit about what you will say. The answer to all such questions, tell me about yourself. Let us introduce ourselves, for example, if you are around a table at the start of a meeting and so on or what are you working on, what is your research about? The answer is what is called the elevator pitch. Formally, what is an elevator pitch? It is a short summary used to define a person, a profession, a project, a product, a service, an organization, an event and its value proposition for the listener. So, we will come back to what is value proposition. And the reason an elevator pitch is called so is because it is based on the idea that you are in an elevator with perhaps the senior colleague who gets in after you and you have only as much time as it takes the elevator to go from the ground floor to the top floor which is 30 seconds at most a minute or two you have only that much time to deliver this pitch. So, an elevator pitch is usually no longer than 2 minutes, a minute or so is about what is recommended. A shorter one is also fine. Who should create an elevator pitch? You or your students should create one if you have to present your research at a conference, even if you have a talk or a poster session. It is a good idea to have a short introduction to the poster or to the talk that is your pitch. If you are a PhD student, it is really important to create and practice this elevator pitch because you will be asked about what your research is about very often. Maybe you just meet a fellow colleague from another department or uh, you may be at a conference and so on. Of course, if you are interviewing a, for a job if you have to introduce yourself in a meeting and if you are ever asked one of those questions, what do you do, tell me about yourself and so on. Why should you care about creating an elevator pitch? The main point is that you get only one chance to make a first impression and you do want to make a good and a strong impression so that the listener remembers what you and your work is about. So, you should be able to sum up unique aspects of yourself, your work, your research or your service or product, but not just sum it up from your perspective. You also have to do it in such a way that excites the listener and that is a very fundamental communication skill. Your students should care about creating an elevator pitch 
if they are in any of these situations, if they are in an interview for example, what is important is that the interviewer does not really care about the student's childhood, nor too much about the marks or college because they are in the resume, they are important, but not too many details. What the interviewer really is interested in is the relevant background of the student, usually the recent background, then the achievements, the future goals and so on, so that he or she can determine if the student is a good fit for the company. So, let us see an example. So, imagine that your student comes to you with the following elevator pitch that she plans to use in an upcoming interview. The student says that I graduated from XYZ college in 2012 with courses in marketing and research methods. I worked for my college annual festival team on their publicity. I have spent the last three years in market research for ABC company. I want to move to an interesting platform and use my skills. Again pause this video for a few minutes and ask yourself is this a strong pitch or are there weak points. There is information here. But what you have to ask yourself is, does this excite a listener? Is there a unique selling point, a unique approach or something unique about the student that the interviewer will remember? Let us contrast this now with a pitch that has been revised after the student has taken some advice from you for example. I have expertise in research design, modeling and data analysis through three years of market research experience. As a student in XYZ college, I developed a tool using Facebook that was adopted by my college annual festival team. I would like to create marketing programs for non-profit organizations. So which is better? Intuitively, we all feel that the second pitch has something better than the previous one. It seems that the second pitch has more details and more unique specific details about the student. However, you should note that the number of words in the two were almost the same. The second pitch has about three or four words more. But what the student has done here is take the same information and put that in context. So, instead of simply saying that she has three years market research experience, she says what her expertise is in during those three years of experience. So, it, it makes the whole context come alive for the interviewer. The student also talks about what exactly she did, what her achievement was in terms of developing a tool using Facebook. This is not easy, everybody understands that. And she further says that it was used by the annual uh, festival. So, it is not just that she worked for the festival as was there in the previous pitch, but also that her tool has been actually used in the festival. Finally, see this last sentence, it is quite interesting because she says, she talks about her future goals, she wants to work for a non-profit organization, but she wants to use a marketing background. So, this is not very typical, it is not usual and this gives the unusual and unique approach that the student is bringing to the organization. So, let us summarize and see what makes a good elevator pitch. You have to explain what you do and more importantly why. In the sense through the examples in your pitch, you have to make the listener care. You have to say why is the work important or interesting for the listener and for the larger group. Communicate your unique selling point or your unique approach and consider including in an engaging hook like the Facebook tool developed by the student in the previous pitch. This hook should be such that the listener wants to listen more to you, they want to get interested in you and so on. If you are talking about your research, it is important that the listener should get interested in your work, not you as a person as much as your work if you have an elevator pitch for research. Finally, you want to say what you want the listener to remember most, what can you offer them? There is one more point here that you will be able to get the listener to be interested if the focus of your elevator pitch is on the problem to be solved or the problem that you have solved because this shows the listener what you can do for them, what kind of problems you can solve. 
In the next module, we will see how one can create an elevator pitch. Thank you.